In this tutorial I want to show how to create a parametric simple mass object that I can use for space planning in a larger mass object. I will create a new family. For that I go up to the Vasari icon, go to new family. In here I will select a mass family and say open. Now we are in the family mode. I will start by using or selecting reference line to generate the simple mass object. I will use the rectangle because I will make a simple box and then just place it randomly on the on the level one here as written here. This is very important that it is placed on level one. I want to delete the surface that is created here and created later on to make it more simple for this tutorial. So now I have these four reference lines and I want to put some dimensions on to have the option of creating parametric dimensions. So I select a line dimension and first I will equalize it in relation to the reference lines here by creating this aligned dimension then click on the EQ and then it will equalize. This I do for two of the direction and then I will create the parametric dimension for the width and for the length of this box I will create. I select the align dimension and then the sub menu bar appear here where I have the option of putting a label on and a label is the way of adding a parameter to a line dimension. I will say a add parameter. This one I'll call length and I'll create it into an instance because I want to have the option of editing and customize, customize each of these simple mass objects individually. For that I have to create it into an instance parameter and then click OK and I will give the width a parameter as well. But this one I will call width instead and create it into an instance of the same reason as for the length. And when you create parametric objects you should always check your parameters before you go to next step. So I want to check the parameters as it is right now to see if it works. I know it's very simple but it's a very good working method to check if everything works as I want. So I click on family types and in here I can change the parameters. Just give it a range size just to see if the width is working. It works fine and for the same for the length and that works as well. Then I just press OK because now I want to create it into a three-dimensional symbol volume. I select the reference lines, say create form and I want to create a solid form. Select this one. Next step is to create the height of the mass parametric. You can do that in different ways. I could have just said it should have a positive offset and then parameterize this one but I want to have the shape handle visible inside the project file. So I need to create some more reference lines and give these reference line dimension as these ones with an instance parameter. We'll start by creating reference line for the top level. I will make sure I'm draw on work plane and I will set the work plane manually and for this I will want to select the reference plane related to this reference line like this the vertical reference plane for this line. So everything I will draw from now on will be on this work plane. So I'll just draw a parallel line to level 1 like this just in random height. It doesn't have to be on top of the box. Actually it's better if it's not. So I can see later on when I align it to this reference line. And if I want to have the shape handle in both end of this object then I have to create a another reference line in the other end and I will do that in the same way. Activating reference line, set manually the work plane I want to draw on. Again the vertical one, just in this end instead, parallel to level 1. And then put on a line dimension from the reference line. If I cannot see what I'm selecting, I can look down in the left bottom corner. That is written right now, reference lines. So this is the one I want to create a parameter from to this new reference line I have created up here that will be the height of this simple box escape and then I will put a parameters on in the same way with the width and length go to label 
add new parameter. This one I'll call height. Again, I'll create a instance and OK. And I'll do the same for this one. Here I have to specify the work plane again, like this. So the align dimension will be in this end. And make sure it's the reference lines, as I can see here by the cursor. Escape and press on this align dimension and give the same parameters as I just did with the height. And now the last thing to make it into a parametric object, I will align the top of this box to these reference lines. Activate align or just press AL, select the reference line first and then the top of the box and then lock it. And I don't have to do it with the in, in both ends, then it will be over constrained. So I only have to do it for one of these, but they have the same height parameters. So that should be uh, okay. And finally, I want to check if the height parameter works as I want it to. So I'll go again to family types and type another height in just to see if it works in the right way. And then apply. It seems it works okay. I also want to add an area to this mass object so I know how big it is. For that I can add a par parameter inside the family types. This one I'll call space area. And this should also be an instance because I want to have input from the width and length, then it have to be instance as well. Then I want to create an area. For that I need to specify that down in the type of parameters, selecting area. And I want to put it in the group parameters under dimensions and press OK. Then I will create a little formula to calculate the area. So it should be length multiplied by width. And when you create these formulas, it's very important to write the same names as the other parameters. And if they have capital letters, it should also have capital letters as well in the formula and name because it refer to the, these parameters over here. And then we can see it calculates the square meters here. And to finish, I click OK. Maybe I also want to give it a material parameter so it's easy to change the color of this space inside the project file. For that I have to select the object, the whole object, the form object, and underneath the material I can click on this one, the small icon here, and give it a parameter called space color. And I wanted to create this for, to an instance as well, so I can control the individually mass objects. And that's fine, it will be grouped under materials and finishes. OK. And OK have to be selected here to be active and then OK. So now we can see it's written in grey and that tells me that it have a parameter for the materials. And before loading into a project I should save this one and give it a logical name that describes what it is because that name will appear inside the project file. So I will save this one as a family and I will call it mass space object and save. And then I will load it into the project environment and place it. So now I'm inside a project file and when I select this object I can drag in these shape handles and we can see it changed the area as well as the height. And if I drag in the shape handles in the vertical action it will create a higher object. If I want to change the color of this space object, I can select it now and give it a, another color or material because I have created an instance parameters for the materials. So instead of using the default one by category, I can select another one here in the small icon here and then the material library opens. I could create a new material by going to the material editor and create new material call it for space color red for example and give it a red color down in the shading under the graphics properties and then the object will be red and make sure you have select the new material in this way and then press ok and then make sure you are in the shaded view because it was only material properties for the graphic parts and that is visible in the shaded visual style.